In 1492, the first documented attempt at IV therapy was performed by a doctor caring for Pope Innocent VIII in Rome. After an apoplectic stroke, the doctor gave him an infusion of blood from three young boys by joining them in anastomosis to exchange blood. Unfortunately, all four died. The cholera outbreaks throughout Europe in the late 19th century propelled the evolution of IV therapy forward. In 1831, Dr. William Brooke O'Shaughnessy realized that large amounts of water and its saline were lost from the blood of cholera victims, and that the blood must be restored to its natural specific gravity. 1845 The hollow needle was perfected, and the first hypodermic syringe was used in 1855. In the late 1800s, the introduction of anesthesia during surgical procedures paved the way for safer surgery in the 20th century, and IV fluid administration was gradually adopted in post-operative treatment regimens. 